Hey there, I'm Jen Hudak, co-founder of Escapod Trailers. We are out here at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona, and are super excited to have the Top 02 on display for in-person viewing for the very first time. And so we're just gonna talk you through the trailer and why we're so excited about it. For starters, uh, this trailer is constructed of a single piece fiberglass shell. The exterior body is all one piece, so no seams along the roof lines, helping to increase durability, minimize leaks and that sort of thing. It has an infused uh, PET core, which is what gives it its structural strength. So this is a bit bigger of a trailer than our original Topo series, but in fact weighs several hundred pounds lighter. So you're looking at about a 1500 pound trailer behind me here. The tongue box up front, we've got some storage inside here. We were also aiming to get all of the mechanical systems inside of this trailer, again, with the focus on durability and longevity of your trailer, um, being able to use it for life lifetimes, pass it on to generations. So your propane tank is up here, uh, and then a ton of additional storage option. We've got L-Track along the back. Uh, you can attach different anchors to this and then mount different things like shovels, hatchets, etc. Um, and still have plenty of room for firewood, dirty, bulky things that you don't want inside the trailer. So you come around this side, um, we'll take a look at the cabin. One thing you probably saw from the outside was our gigantic stargazer window. So that is a two and a half foot by a five foot large stargazer window. Um, it comes standard with a screen and a shade. It vents open completely so you can get some nice breeze into the trailer. And then inside the cabin, we carried over some of the inspiration from our original Topo, bringing in the Baltic birch here on the cabinet faces, um, moving more to HDPE um, along the trim edges and uh, the exterior entry points. So along the door here, we have a five inch utility space. We are calling this the mud room. So if you've ever gotten in a teardrop trailer and asked yourself, what do I do with my shoes? We now have a solution for you. You can put your shoes right in here. It's a waterproof surface, um, really easy to clean and keeps the dirt and debris outside of your sleeping space. We also have two nightstands flanking um, either side of the queen size bed. This is a true queen size bed, six inch memory foam mattress. There is wireless charging on those nightstands, cup holders, and a ton of storage behind the headboard. Inside the cabin, uh, we have really nice LED light strips along the top. We have cabin heat from a Truma Combi unit. That's what's gonna provide um, your instant hot water as well back in the galley. We'll get to that momentarily. You also have your control panels in here. So the thermostat for the Truma, as well as the solar controller and uh, all of your switches. So we have a power on switch for the inverter, for the interior lights, exterior lights, and then rock rail. So we just have some ground lighting that is directly integrated into the frame so that you can find your way back to your trailer at night if you need to go out and use the bathroom. And next to all of those switches is our systems monitor. So that systems monitor is gonna give you a read on water levels inside the water tank. This trailer comes standard with 20 gallons of water on board. Um, also, instant hot water from that Truma Combi, like I mentioned earlier. It's also gonna give you a readout on interior and exterior temperatures, as well as your battery levels. Uh, the standard battery option on this trailer is 100 amp hours lithium battery. You can upgrade to a 200 amp hour option as well. The standard fan solution in this trailer is a four speed max air fan. Uh, we also have a Fresair air cooling unit that you can install as well. Now behind me, you will see our convertible table. This collapses down and becomes a cabinet face, which I can show you around the other side in the galley. So that'll go into the right side of the galley along here, closes up this whole space while you're driving. We have a 75 liter Yeti Tundra on lockout drawer slides. This comes standard. It can be upgraded to an ARB 63 fridge freezer as well. There is galley power that comes standard in all of these and just runs off that 12 volt system. Now on this side, we have a pullout stove, really comfortable height for cooking, again, on those lockout drawer slides. And then we have an additional drawer underneath that, um, slides out for utensils, spatulas, all that good stuff, nice and accessible there. And then a few details up top, again, uh, carried this over from the original Topo, which is the convertible cabinet face that is actually a cutting board. 
in this model, we have hidden knife storage behind here. So all of these knives have a little magnetic insert. So you can always have your knives ready for a little bit of meal prep before you cook. And then there is, of course, a full-size sink, uh, Ruvati sink, that is on board as well. We also have a hookup for a shower attachment right over here. And we even have some heat that blows into the galley. So on those cold nights, you can stay a little bit toastier while you're cooking. Now, one of the things that makes this trailer so unique, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is that all of the mechanical systems are on the inside. From the galley is where you will access all of those if you ever need to for service to keep up with things. So behind this removable panel is that Truma Eco Plus combi unit, forced air heat in the cabin in the galley, as well as your on-demand hot water. And then behind here, you will access the fuse box, the inverter if you upgrade to the inverter, as well as um, the batteries are in here. And then down behind the Yeti cooler is the access panel to the 20 gallon water tank. Now that water tank is also um, gravity fill, so you can access that over here. So you can fill that without access to pressurized water. You can take a jerry can, fill up elsewhere, bring that back and refill your tank. On this side, you will see the Rome um, six and a half foot by eight foot awning. Um, that comes standard along with the crossbars that are on top of this trailer. These podium feet are adjustable along the track here onto the integrated Mohawk. Uh, this does have an 800 pound capacity on top of the roof. So you can fit a really nice rooftop tent up there and pack a few humans in because the more the merrier. Now, as far as ground clearance and suspension, this trailer, because we moved to that composite construction and the floor is composite as well, we were able to in increase the horizontal stiffness of this trailer, which allowed us to reduce the frame weight, which is partly where we gain uh, the difference in weight compared to the original Topo series trailer. And we also have the free ride suspension come standard on every single Topo 2. That is our independent suspension system with a trailing arm design and shock and spring. So that's gonna control both compression and rebound as you are taking this trailer off-road. Um, we have about 23 inches of ground clearance to the body on this trailer. If you add the undermount spare tire, the lowest point on this trailer will be about 19 inches. So super capable ready for year-round use uh, and still provides a really plush comfortable interior and more spacious feel inside so come check us out visit us at escapod.us uh, we'd love to tell you more about the trailer and let us know what questions you have